Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars on this very windy day. Uh, today we're going to show this 2012 uh, Toyota Paso that just came in. It's got uh, 64,000 kilometers on it, which is 40,000 miles. That is it. Um, before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the price when you get out on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure to stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. There are benefits of doing it even before you get yourself a driver's license, okay? So you can't stress that enough. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you'll have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. The Stoda Passo is a five passenger vehicle in the uh, 500 series category, so the uh, mid-size category. Road tax per year is gonna be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about uh, $58 right now at the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Also, you have two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do 500 to 1,000. Some do more, some do half, up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's jump on in, let's get this baby started. So it does have the key fob on here, so it's long down your person, you can just go ahead and crank it over as if the key was in there. If this key fob battery dies, you can pull this out as a regular key and put it in there, okay? Let's uh, turn this radio off. Sorry, Troy. And lower this fan just a little bit for less noise. All right, hey, that's not it. Where's my, there you go. 64,000. 337 on the odometer uh, showed you a couple of warning lights there that uh, and you can see the high uh, or the silhouettes of all the other ones but um, that green one right there that's your new temperature gauge so it's gonna be uh, green light green like it is now when the engine's cool when it warms up it's gonna go away and then you see the one above uh, to the left of it that's gonna be red if it's overheating be on the lookout for that the one below it uh, is your uh, emergency brake it's not a low pressure tire gauge I know it looks similar but it is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage it, goes away, kick it again, comes right back on. And then obviously the, uh, the blinking one is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. All right, other than that, it's a very, very simple instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here, you do have your, uh, your radio and monitor. This one does have a rear camera. You have your shifter on the column here, air conditioning controls, power outlet. You do have a, um, a three kilogram um, uh, shopping bag hook. Uh, that's uh, about six and a half pounds. A little shelf up here and cup holders, all right? Then it doesn't have a regular um, glove box. It just has this little area right there. Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. I don't know where your red roof flare is. We'll have to get you one, all right? And then this is uh, my space over here as far as leg room. The seat is all the way back and all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm comfortable right where I am. And before I forget, I'm doing pretty good on these. I haven't forgot one in a while. It does have this center console slash armrest, which is going to give you some extra storage as well. Um, let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep, please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers can't say that. We can for every car. This is graded number four uh, overall and with a C and C for the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this year of car, okay? And that's gonna be up here on the sun visor so you can see for yourself on the driver's side. All right, uh, before we go to the back seat, let's show you a couple other things. Obviously you have your uh, window controls on the door panel. This will control your uh, doors, the door locks, okay? And then over here on the right side of the dash, you have your mirror controls. And then this is to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a, a foggy morning, you want to see the uh, street a little better, that's where you're going to angle it. And then down here, please don't forget, you have your hood release. And right here on the floor, you do have your gas cover release. And we can't, of course, forget this thing right here. This is your uh, ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. All right. So let's turn this baby off. Go to the back seat here. All right. Sees my guy forgot his uh, scraper here. John, get your scraper here. 
I got it on video that you forgot your scraper. So he's going to come over here and get this real quick. There. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, uh, I'm I'm pretty much flush with it. Um, and you can see it's a little more reclined than uh, the other one, but I'm pretty much flush with it. Um, nothing as far as uh, storage on the door panels, and it does not have any uh, center console either. Now these these seats do go flat. However, you got to put there's a little tab on each one. You pull this up, and that'll go down. I'm not going to do it all the way, and that this will uh, go down flat down here, and then this will lay flat, and you'll see as I'm going to try it later. Okay, I'll show you from the back here. All right, so here's your space. So now it, with that seat bottom up, it's just not going to go all the way flat. But with the seat bottom down, as I showed you, it will lay flat and you'll have this whole space open. These are actually pretty impressive for the space that you get for being a, a compact, uh, smaller car. Make sure I do that right. And you can recline this a little more by pulling this up and pushing that back to the second position and that's what it's gonna be. All right. Let's go to the engine compartment. They're gonna wrap this video up. Before it starts raining again. All right, there you have it. This is a one liter engine, nice and clean. All right, there you go, 2012 Toyota Paso. Uh, 64,000 miles on it, which is only 40,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,900. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price for this. Uh, but for now, the 4,700 is gonna include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement where they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Uh, touching on somebody's warranties out here, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread. Stop by, by we'll explain why. Uh, don't forget, um, uh, we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, but definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, by we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. Use dollars cash outright or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.